ladies, it's Tracy, and I'm back to record a verse in my Victory Verse journal. I'm going to be recording 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. And we are in week 23 when I need to be positive. I'm following along with the Salty Sister Speaking Facebook Bible Study Group that is led by Rochelle Burchett. So I'm going to be recording the verse that Melinda Lyons posted, and it's a beautiful picture that she posted, and I'm just going to try to copy that. And the words rejoice, pray, and give thanks, those are the verbs, those are the action words. They're the things that we can do as a retired teacher. You know, I'm very familiar with teaching about parts of speech, and... So verbs are things that show action. So we're going to rejoice, we're going to pray, and we're going to give thanks in all circumstances. And I'm going to make those verbs bold, and I'm going to try to do the brush lettering. We'll see how that turns out. I'm just going to write it in there, and I'm not going to um, start out with pencil. I'm just going to go for it. And so rejoice is going to be very bold. So down strokes are bold, up strokes are very fine, but down strokes are bold, and down strokes are bold, but when we come up, we make it fine. So So you see how I have to sometimes pick up my pen, otherwise I continue to, to press too hard. So when I start going up, I lift my pen and then just really use the tip of the marker to make those fine strokes. So I'm going to do rejoice and then switch pens. And I think I'll use this fine point marker, write the word always. And I'm going to use the word pray. And here again, I'm going down. So I'll make that bold. And continually then give thanks
not perfect, but it's okay for me. And now it's going to be in all circumstances, and I'm going to do it right down here below. And that is 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 16 through 18. And that seems like, you know, a very short verse for, to be three verses. But Rejoice Always is 16, Pray Continually 17, In All Circumstances, verse 18. And now I'm just going to do some super 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 easy flowers that anyone can do and they start out by just making a curved squiggly line for your outside flower make a couple of those and then you come inside of that and you make another squiggly line it doesn't have to be exactly the same And we'll come in with another color for that center. And I'll use a purple. Come in with some green leaves. And remember, we like to keep things in odd numbers, so we're going to go back to making sure we have three. And I'm going to make my third one over here. And then I'm going to use colored pencils to just come in and color those spaces. So while I'm working on this, I'm thinking about rejoicing. To me, that's just thanking God for so many blessings. Even things I don't understand, I'm thanking Him for being in, being in control of the situation. When I think I have all the answers, I soon find out I don't. And so, while I'm rejoicing, I'm, I'm praying. And I'm thanking God, like I said, for for everything. Whether I know the answers or whether I don't, I'm just trusting Him. So ladies, I encourage you today to make you some simple little squiggly flowers. Record a verse in your journal and think about rejoicing, praying, and giving thanks. It will help you stay positive.